Hi everyone, it's Liz with Real Girl Beauty. <sighs> this weekend was Generation Beauty and it was so much fun. I am still completely exhausted. I've been playing with stuff. I feel like my face is on makeup overload right now. Um, so I wanted to do a series of videos talking about both what it was like to go and what I received both from the booths, from the bag, and from purchases. Now, I know a lot of people are putting up videos of the creator bag. I actually did apply to Ipsy Open Studio, but my application was too late to make it in for this. So I actually have the attendee bag, which means you guys are gonna see exactly what I got that you would get if you went to this event. I'm actually gonna start with that. Thing that's kind of cool, I waited till the end of day one to pick this up. I didn't get it right away. And they gave me this bag, which is to me better than the other one that people have been showing in their videos. It was smaller and theirs was more of like a waxy finish. This is like an awesome, high quality nylon tote bag with an excellent zipper and everything so I was so much happier that I got this one um, I think waiting was a good idea first thing I'm going to show you in this package that was my favorite item was this which is a palette from Tarte called make believe in yourself to me this was like made the bag this was so awesome i'm actually wearing some of these shadows on my eyes right now because again i just kind of went nuts and played today um so it's this gorgeous set of so many different colors it's got a lot of taupes and browns and then it's got these brighter i'm like trying i'm so crazy ocd i'm like trying not to lose the plastic it's got these awesome greens blues purples and a pink and it's got a center highlighter now this was actually a limited edition from Tarte. So the fact that it was included in the bag to me was pretty cool. The makeup brush brand Luxie was there and they gave this mini angled brush from their red gold line. This was actually, when I looked it up on the web website, it was actually part of a set. So I thought that was a pretty cool brush. Shea Moisture gave this sam sample size packet of a hair mask, which is their Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Grow Treatment Mask. The brand So AE gave this gel mask, which is made with donkey milk. I have never seen donkey milk in a product. I've never had donkey milk. So this I thought was kind of cool to give a try to. Um, the brand Meg gave this morning mask, which is supposed to be good for good morning. And the company Glow Recipe gave this little watermelon sleeping mask. The brand Double Dare included this microfiber detox mask, which is actually a two part. You use one, take it off and use the second part after. The other makeup brush company that was there had this Moda brush, which is a contour brush. Derma E gave a bottle of their oil, which is their Radiant Glow Facial Oil. Some of the companies gave sample size, some of them gave full size. Um, it really depended on the company. Jouer gave their long lasting lip cream. Pure Lease gave this lip balm, which is their daily lip moisturizer with mango and shea, which I tried this on Saturday night and love it. Brow Food gave their clear enhancing brow gel. Essence put in their false lashes mascara. This is the Lumine Pure Arctic Mineral Water, which works like a micellar water. And I tried that and it was good. This is the OGX Orchid Oil, which is a color protectant and spray that you spray on your hair after it's dry. Um, Mark Anthony gave this coconut clear dry shampoo and that I'm actually excited to give a try to because it is clear. Ciate gave their ve liquid velvet lipstick. Lancome gave their Monster Big Mascara and this is a full size. Glamour Dolls gave this five color palette 
of eyeshadows. The Balm gave a full size of their Bahama Mama bronzer. Kiss Professional gave this Egoism matte lipstick. Briogeo gave this hair cream that's supposed to protect from heat. Koki gave these nail polishes out. This uh, came from Soko Glam, which is a website. This is a, a water essence, beauty water from Sun Park. Grande Cosmetics gave this sample size of their mascara primer. Skin Fix gave this foaming oil cleanser. IGK Hair Care gave this hair cream, which is coconut oil gel. It's supposed to be good for texture. Um, this company I loved, which is Gumi. They do these little fun, almost look like an old school telephone cord hair ties. These are some of my favorite ones to use, and they gave out a full box of theirs. Makeup Forever gave a sample size of their Skin Equalizer Primer. Ofra gave this highlighter in the color Everglow, which is actually from the Nikki Tutorials collection. Note Cosmetics gave their Long Lash Mascara. Catrice Cosmetics gave this Liquid Metal Eyeshadow. Pure Minerals gave their Blending Sponge, which you guys know I love sponges, so I was really psyched to see that. Rimmel gave their Color Correcting Concealer Kit. Belief Skin Care gave their Moisturizing Eye Balm Eye Cream. Nude Sticks gave their Moisture Pencil, and this came in a kit with the sharpener and a cute little tin with a mirror. The friend that let me stay with him really liked the tin, so I, I gave that to him. Eva New York City gave this 10-in-1 hair primer spray. Ilore gave their Crazy Ray Ray False Eyelashes. Benefit gave, what else, their Gimme Brow Colored Fiber Gel. Seriously, I have never bought this product because I have literally gotten so many samples of it, I've never had the need. Pixie gave this sample size of their eyeliner. This is the Endless Silky Eye Pen in black. Winky Lux gave a sample size of their Deluxe Matte Whip. Absolute New York gave their Shimmer Liquid Eyeliner, and this color is very, very bronzy, and I'm super excited for that. And Physicians Formula gave their New York Bronzer, which is City Glow. This, to me, is so cool. I, I just think the appearance of it, I mean, look at that. It's got the skyline. It's so cool. So that's everything that was included in the Intendi door bag the swag bag, I actually went and totaled out everything that was full size and not counting anything that was just a sample size, the full size products in this bag totaled a value of $350. So this was an excellent bag. Most of the stuff I'm super excited for. There was one or two things that I was thinking of who I could give them to. I feel like I have now had so many mascaras that I don't need to buy mascara for a really long time because I have so many to try out. But all in all, awesome bag. I hope this gives you an idea of what you would get if you were an attendee at one of these events. If you like this, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon with the next video about Gen Beauty. Bye.